Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. The pie chart on the screen gives the expenditure on various items and savings of a family during a month. Firstly, on which item the expenditure was maximum. Clearly from the graph, maximum expenditure is done on food, that is 25%. So we can write, expenditure is maximum on food. Second part of the question is, expenditure on which item is equal to the total savings of the family. From the graph we can see that savings for the family is 15% and education for children is also 15%. So we can say that expenditure on education for children is same as sa savings that is 15% third part of our question is that if the monthly savings of the family is rupees 3000 what is the monthly expenditure on clothes? From the graph, we note that 10% is spent on clothes and 15% is saving which is equal to 3000. Let us use unitary method to calculate. It is given that 15% represents rupees 3000 then 1% will represent rupees 3000 by 15 this implies that 10% will represent rupees 3000 by 15 multiply by 10 which is equal to to 200 means 2000 rupees that means if the monthly saving of the family is rupees 3000 then the monthly expenditure on clothes is rupees 2000 let us read the question on a particular day the sales in rupees of different items of a baker's shop are given in the table. Draw a pie chart for this data. To draw pie chart from this data, we first need to convert these figures into fractions. And then from fractions, we have to convert it into angles. So let us convert to fractions. We know that total amount is 720. That means complete circle of our chart will denote 720 rupees. Then 320 out of 720 would be equal to 4 by 9. Or we can say 4 by 9th of the circle. Similarly, 80 out of 720 will be equal to 1 by 9th of the circle. 160 
out of 720 would be 2 by 9th of circle then 120 out of 720 will give us will be 1 sixth of the circle and lastly 40 out of 720 will be equal to 1 by 18th of circle so now we have calculated all the fractions and we can complete the table it comes out to be 4 by 9 1 by 9 2 by 9 1 by 6 and 1 by 18th now it remains to calculate the corresponding angle to draw the pie chart we know that the complete angle of a circle is 360 degrees then 4 ninth of 360 degrees will be equal to 160 degrees 1 ninth of 360 degrees is equal to 40 degrees 2 ninth of 360 degrees is equal to 80 degrees 1 sixth of 360 degrees is equal to 60 degrees and 1 18th of 360 degrees is equal to 20 degrees now we are in a position to draw the pie graph to draw the pie graph we first draw the circle then draw this radius and using a D mark an angle of 160 degrees and draw the line this will represent ordinary bread that cost rupees 320 similarly using a D we can draw a 60 degree angle and it will represent 60 degrees represent the biscuits which cost rupees 120 similarly we will draw 80 degrees angle and that will represent rupees 160 then 40 degree angle representing rupees 80 for the fruit bread and 20 degree angle representing rupees 40 for the other items that are sold in the shop and hence we get the required pie graph.